Police arrest two men for a series of violent robberies spanning about two months. Philip Stewart and Anthony Miller are behind bars. A third person is still on the run. WLKY's Gladys Bautista breaks down how police connected this group to the crime spree. LMPD arrested two men for a string of robberies across the metro. So they're coming in, brandishing firearms and demanding cash uh, from the business. Police say Philip Stewart and Anthony Miller are part of a three-member group police dubbed the Double Tappers, as they say some of the armed robberies were committed within 20 to 30 minutes of each other. The group is accused of robbing nine businesses in total, ranging from gas stations to family dollar stores and a Penn Station restaurant. The spree, as you can see on this map, spanned across the metro and included businesses in J-Town and Middletown. LMPD says the armed robbers bombarded unsuspecting workers. I mean, anytime you have an employee who's, you know, working at a gas station at 3 a.m. And, and somebody comes in with a gun, I would say it's a violent encounter. But detectives say as the crime scenes mounted, so did the evidence. A lot of similar clothing, um, the patterns, the MO, the modus operandi, um, stuff like that. So that, that's the stuff we look at as investigators uh, to try to link all these. Detectives conducted surveillance to nab the suspects. On Monday afternoon, officers pulled over the suspect's car in Oklahoma. Miller was behind the wheel and police say as officers tried to get the men out of the car, Miller took off, leading police on a chase. Stewart and Miller were finally taken into custody on Heather Lane in the Bonaire neighborhood. Multiple suspect search warrants were completed throughout this investigation and during its conclusion, which yielded the recovery of multiple firearms and clothing evidence linking the suspects to the robberies. While police remain tight-lipped, though, on the third man wanted in connection to the robberies, they say they are confident in the direction of the investigation going forward. At this time, uh, we think we have an identity on that person. Uh, we're going to withhold on that. Gladys Bautista, WOKY News. Now, police have not said how much was taken in the robbery.